Hey guys, Wander North here, and this is episode 3 of the Let's Play series for the game The Colonists. Uh, so far, we've, we have a farm, we have uh, some of these residences to make us energy, and yeah, we're kind of just upgrading using the workshop to try and get, uh, what is that called, the Blast Furnace. So we can start making iron. So our goal for this mission is to build a small monument. And here's the timelines you need to get each mill. So we have to be done minimum in four years. It is currently the third month, day 14. Delt will do the gold star. But that will see what happens. So. Where we last off last time, we're kind of just waiting for this uh, research to be done. But also, I placed a... Or did I place it yet? I did not place it yet. I want to build... Uh, what is it? Yes, the watchtower. Oh, sorry. Jeez. I knew. I figured I placed it. I was looking for it. There it is. There's a watchtower I built. Once that's done, it'll expand our borders. So we kind of have that going on. Um, yeah. Workshop's almost done doing that upgrade. It's at 90%. The watchtower is waiting on logs. Oh yeah, and the logs have a long way to go. So they come from Theodore's Lumberjack Hut, make its way down the paths, and here it comes. There's the lumber we needed. So it actually needs quite a bit to make a watchtower. Hmm. Yeah, last episode I was going to build another lumberjack hut to get us more wood because it seems like we're kind of short. But once this this uh, upgrade is done, we will be able to, we should be able to upgrade the lumberjack hut. Which, yeah, which will make it produce... 0.5 more a day. So I kind of just want to wait until we can upgrade it and just see if that fixes our supply issues for the logs. Oh, there we go. Research is complete. Construction 1 has been completed. Great, you've researched Construction 1. This means you've unlocked a new range of buildings and the ability to upgrade some existing ones. Uh, to mine coal and iron ore, you need to research Mining 1. Mining 1 requires a level 2 workshop, which in turn requires the more advanced energy L2 to function. So we got some things we gotta upgrade. Uh, energy L2 is generated by level 2 residences. You can either upgrade level 1 residence via the building's upgrade panel, or you can construct the building from scratch. Your next job is to create your first level 2 workshop and your first level 2 residence. So here they are. There's the upgrade. Start upgrade. So this present... Oh, we'll start producing level 2. So I'm going to upgrade that. So that we need 5 planks and 5 stone to start that upgrade. I don't know if I can upgrade. You know, I can't upgrade the sheep farm. I wonder if this being upgraded will need more uh, water in that. I hope not. So I'm just going to upgrade one for now. Oh, the watchtower's ready. Oh, 
stone deposit within sight, so we have more stone deposits, more trees we could start harvesting. So I might as well build another watchtower over here and start expanding that way also. So we've got to try and find coal. Uh, workshop available. You have an idle workshop. Construction speed I can up. Should I do that? Yeah, why not? We'll get that going. Because we can't upgrade this yet to level 2. So... While we're waiting for the ability to do that, let's make uh, up the construction speed a bit. So this looks like it's almost done. Upgrading to level 2. And it is done. Oh, look at the new look of it. I like it. So tutorial, you now have a level 2 residence which can generate energy L2. Level 2 residents have an additional requirement though, alcohol. Build an orchard and cedar press to start producing, oh sorry, cider, cedar. Build an orchard and cider press to start producing cider. So that's the one downfall. of upgrading it. Okay, well, let's do that then. Oops. Uh, need an orchard and a cider press. There's the orchard. Guess we can build it up here. Yeah, let's expand this road then. Road, I'll make it go like that. Um, how big was that? Building? Orchard. I could plop it there. Yeah, that'll work. Put a path to connect it up. Oops. So that's connected now. Virtue needs planks and stone. That might take a while to come all the way down from this side of the map. I guess I got an orchard fields auto place? No, I don't want to place it. I guess I gotta wait till it's done constructing. I should have just build another lumberjack hut. Mm. So Christy was sleeping. I could probably make some more places for trees. Fill it up like that. So Chris, you have a lot of work to do now. Yeah, d uh, you know what? Maybe I will just build another lumberjack. Because there is high demand for it. Okay, 
Okay. Lumberjack hut. I build it there. Maybe I'll leave room just in case. Is that too far though from the trees? It looks like our hmm. I wonder if I can delete. Can I delete trees? Destroy. Click on a building, road, path, boat, or train to destroy it. So I can't destroy the trees. All right. So I really like it, like in the trees, almost over here. I wonder if you can make the road through the trees. Oops. Road. No, you can't. Okay, well. We'll leave that for now. Oh, now I can't plop that there because the road's in the way. Okay, destroy the road. Mm. That, oh, that should be good. Actually, I will. Oh, I can't. I was gonna say I will build a road there, but I can't because the building's in the way. That's fine. We'll we'll make this work. So I have a second lumberjack hut. That should supply us with all quite a bit of wood. So this demand is very high because we have a bunch of buildings building. This production isn't that good. Why is your... Can you keep waiting on energy maybe? Lumberjack has finished construction. Here comes our new Lumberjack, Alberto. Fill him up with energy and he is going. Seems to be working well. So now we have more wood for construction. And then that also supplies the sawmill with more wood. So he can work more efficiently. So that's that's huge, it'll help us a lot. Now going back to the orchard, we are still waiting on one more plank and some stone. So what's wrong with this? They need more... Oh, so we are... Seems like energy is a problem. So he has to have energy L1. So I was thinking... If we upgrade everything, the... Uh, all the residents, they'll only be producing energy L2. So I'm assuming you need to keep some for energy L1 because they run on energy L1. Like, can they run on energy L2? I'm assuming not, but I don't actually know.
so maybe that's so maybe that's why we're kind of short on energy because we lost one building. So we only have three buildings making energy at the moment because this one is not making the L2 energy because we are waiting on the orchard. We'll get there. Here comes some stone. And it is waiting on, ooh, a couple stone. Now is that, that just one of? Yeah, that is one, so we still need two more. Oh dear. But we did find some more, did we not? Some over here, stone deposit. Can we upgrade this mine? Oh no, we have to research mining one. So he's researching, he's at 90% for construction speed. He's also waiting for stone. I build another stone, but then I'll be really hurting for energy. Yeah, if I build another surface mine, I'll be really hurting for energy. It's probably best to hold off. Still waiting on two more stone. Here comes another one. Slowly making its way. Guess we could all the way for that. Span the road. Then we can build another watchtower to give us access to this area. Uh, that's good. Build a path to connect it. Watchtower just needs some logs, so it won't eat into our lack of stone we're waiting on for the orchard. How is the situation over here with the trees? Not bad. Still got quite a bit. Uh, Christy is planting more and more. So we'll keep coming back to this, make sure we don't like run out of trees, but it looks like we should be okay. I'm assuming these the stumps regrow too. How's that orchard coming along? Still waiting for one more stone, but it is on its way. Come on guys, work together. Rana, it's up to you. Tomiko? Tomiko. And here we go. It is here. We can expand this orchard. As soon as they're done, there we go. Uh, so we can do 10 orchard fields. Oh, darn it, I didn't want to do auto place. Too late now. Darn it. What? Screw us? Change. Oh. Move or or Oh no. 
Can I remove it? Oh, okay, I can. Because I need the road there. Um. Oh, we found more things. Territory gained. Apples created, so we're making apples. Uh, coal deposit within sight, iron ore deposit within sight, and a stone deposit. So let's get rid of those. Ah, there it is. There's the coal and iron ore, and we will need those. Maybe I'll continue expanding this way. Like that. And kind of go crisscross like this. There, I like that. Tower. Maybe over here. We are expanding our borders quite a bit. Okay, so we got the ore. Well, I didn't know the, ex <laughs> the orchard expand this much. So what's this doing now? So it is full because the apples aren't going anywhere. Okay. Can I fit in the watchtower here? Get rid of another. I wonder. What if I do this? Delete that road. Kind of want a watchtower here. Now, can I make this work? This is the question. Like so? Oh, I can't complete, so that won't work. I have to remove this. Oh, that kind of sucks. So now will the road fit? No, it won't. I need to build that somewhere else. Can't build that there. Let's try the road first. Here. Yeah, it has to go like that. And I'll build the watchtower here. Oh, I can't fit it. Oh no. Oh, it's a lot of open land over there. I really want to expand that way. Okay, we, we gotta make this work. Delete. Delete. Uh, watchtower. Gotta make it... So it's too hilly there. Oh, man. This is not good. <laughs> really screw myself on a lot of expansion area. That can't work because that's in a way. Oh man. Hmm. 
<laughs> Jeez. There's nowhere to put this. Darn it. Well, you know what, for now. Hmm. For now, I'm just gonna put the row there. We already built the orchard. Should have looked into the watchtower first, but we didn't. So, anyway, to, we need to process those apples into cider. And that is cider press. See, now this is gonna be really far away. Darn. Put the cider press there. That'll work. So here comes the apples. And then the cider press. Take the apples, bring it into cider, thus giving our new level 2 residents. Oh yeah, cider. Yeah, so that'll work. So the cider will go into there and then we'll start producing the level 2 energy that we need. Alright, a little bit of hiccup over here, but we'll make it work. We do have an idle workshop. These need level 2 energy. Oh yeah, so we have to upgrade this and upgrade this. Can I start an upgrade? Oh, I can. Okay. So I'll need planks and stone, which we have. Here comes all the planks. So let that finish. And make that small monument. We need, we need iron. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're make, trying to get ourselves the ability to make iron, to make the the uh, monument. There we go. The cider press is working, which will start feeding this. There's our first, first batch of cider. And there it goes. There we go, all the ingredients are going in. And our first level two energy is starting to be built. Workshot is upgrading. It's almost done. Oh yes, and this whole new area. Nice. Might as well keep expanding. Uh, kind of like that. And like this. Works for me. Need another watchtower to get into that iron ore. Oh, and there's stones down there. Let's do it. Like that. So this one watchtower will unlock all this area for us. So it is kind of glad I didn't build another surface mine because eventually it looks like this will run out of stone. So I'd rather get a new uh, start like 
grabbing from this stone deposit. Kind of get ahead of our or ahead of the situation if we do run out of stone here, because we'll already be grabbing from there. What are you waiting for, stone? One more stone and then this will be done upgrading and then we can start researching... Uh, what? Start research. We can start researching scaffolding we want construction too. Oh, part of the tutorial. You now have a level 2 workshop which can research more advanced technologies. Research mining one so that you can begin mining the coal and iron ore. You need to make the iron required for the mine. So research mining one. It's over here. I didn't, even, I didn't even notice this. I should have actually looked around. Oh. Okay, well, we can start that. So, mining one. Alright. Well, uh, that. Start upgrading that. So that looks good. Our watchtower is complete. There's our new guard bot moving over there. Uh, we are waiting for this upgrade and then we can start mining that iron ore. And then get that monument. So anyway, I think this is long enough. Oh, here we go. Tutorial gain, territory gain, sorry. Coal deposit, stone deposit, and iron ore. You can all see that way over here. Nice. Uh, you now have an underground deposit inside your territory. You can mine this location by constructing a shaft mine. When placing the shaft mine, uh, you need to line up the building. Foot. Okay. Well, you know what? We've gone far enough in this episode. I'm gonna pause it. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue on. This is fun. This is very addicting. Just seeing the more upgraded things and mining different minerals and whatnot. And we have a look at this orchard. Good old Byron's Orchard. Producing us some apples to get us cider. So anyway, thanks again guys for watching this. It's been a blast. I'm going to continue on our little uh, Let's Play series do, going through the missions. And I hope you guys tune in again. So give me a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time.